What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will be reviewing the Trax Color Changing LED Showerhead from 5 Below. I will unbox it, test it for 3 weeks, then dissect it to reveal its construction and how it works. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'm currently posting a new one at least once a week. Now, let's get started. So, I was at 5 Below, just checking things out while my kids did some shopping. And I saw it, the LED Color Changing Showerhead. I could visualize colorful lights blasting all over the shower while shampoo was burning my eyes. And it was awesome. And I decided to get it. So I texted my wife and asked if I could get it. And she said no. Game over. Then I texted my friend to show him how cool it was. And he agreed that it was awesome. And advised me to use my toxic masculinity and get it anyways. So I did. A few weeks later he asked me when I'm going to do the review video because he might get one for himself, if his wife doesn't get too mad, because she's picky about shower heads and water pressure. Well, that's how it goes. And here's the review. Okay, let's open it up. LED color changing shower head, powered by running water. No need for batteries, vibrant LED, easy installation. It screws in. It's hydro powered, and it has multicolored LED lights. Sounds awesome. When opening the box, here is a rubber o-ring with a stainless steel mesh filter. Then there's the shower head. Let's get a good look at it, spin it all around, and install the o-ring for later. It measures about 4 inches overall length with a 3 inch outer diameter. To install the shower head, you just screw it on. The rubber o-ring provides the watertight seal. Then you're ready for a LED shower experience. Next, let's fire it up and see what it can do. Did you hear that? Well, I'll tell you right now that the hydroelectric mechanism makes a noticeable sound. For now, I will edit the sound out, so it'll be off, so we can focus on the LED lights. I will address the sound later in the video. So, here it is with the lights on. The video does not do it justice. In the video, the lights just look like a big bright blob. In reality, there are five different LED bulbs, and the individual LEDs are clear and can be distinguished, and they alternate colors. Now, here's the shower head with the lights off. This is how I personally used it. I took showers in the dark with the shower head providing the light, and every shower was an LED extravaganza. I definitely felt like the environment was missing music. To top it off, I did try running some music off my phone, but the sound that the shower head made blocked it all out. On that note, let's address the sound that the shower head makes. Here it is, the sound. It's quite noticeable. Using a decibel meter, the noise measures at roughly 90 decibels, oscillating around between 86 and 94. Now, here's a normal shower head, hanging between 65 and 70 decibels. And here's another normal shower head, sitting at about 75 decibels. Let's move on to the flow. The flow is great. It puts out a lot of water with great pressure, much better than my standard shower heads. To measure the flow rate, I ran the shower head into a bucket for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I looked to see how much volume of water it produced. The water level in the bucket is 1 and 3 quarter gallons, which equates to 3.5 gallons per minute. For something to compare this to, I went to the Home Depot website, searched for shower head, selected one that looked pretty standard and similar and took a look at the specifications. The flow rate is 1.8 gallons per minute. So the LED shower head produces twice as much water as a standard shower head. And that was my personal experience as well. It was noticeable. If you want lots of water, the LED shower head could be great. But if you want to reduce or minimize water use, the LED shower head is not ideal. Another thing to note, when not in use, some of the water pools inside the shower head at the bottom. There's not a way for it to get out. I'm sure this is the case for other shower heads, but they are not transparent, so it's not visible. Next, let's take this apart and see how it works. Starting out, the pipe connector is held on with a threaded nut and it screws off. This is a watertight joint, so the shower head can articulate and be positioned. So, we can disassemble that and remove the rubber seals. Next is the business part. There's a white body and a clear cap. They were probably assembled with some adhesive. Let's pry them apart. 
I was able to separate them using a small flathead screwdriver and a little bit of effort. Under the cap, we have five LEDs and several holes for water flow. This can be disassembled by removing the two stainless steel screws. Here's the generator. If I manually rotate it, the LEDs light up. Inside the shell, there are only three little slots for water to flow, and they are not just through holes. They are angled to direct water flow. And because the slots are small, the water flow will be high velocity and high pressure. On the back of the generator, the rotating shaft has several fins. The water that comes out of the slots force the shaft to rotate, resulting in your shower becoming a symphony of multicolored LEDs. Removing the rotating element, there is a magnet on the inside. This will be a standard hydroelectric generator setup. In this specific setup, the circular magnet has alternating poles. It's north, then south, then north, then south, alternating all the way around. I verified this by running a magnet around it, and it pulled and pushed as I went around. Here is the stainless steel shaft that it rotates on. The LEDs are all potted in, so this unit is solid and watertight. It cannot be disassembled any farther with screwdrivers. So, let's get the old angle grinder out and cut it in half to reveal the rest of the mechanism. And here we are. The copper wire is the windings that induce current when the magnets with the opposite poles rotate around them. The resulting current is then wired to a printed circuit board that the LEDs are mounted on. The circuit board has some circuit logic on it that make the LEDs change colors as well. And the circuit board is covered in epoxy to waterproof the unit. So that concludes the review. At the end of it all, I enjoyed the LED shower head. The lights were awesome, and I'll never admit that the sound was too much. I used it for three weeks, and it held up great with no issues. I also personally like the high flow rate. Now that it's cut in half, I will not be purchasing a replacement. And I couldn't even if I wanted to. My wife was very nice to let me run this thing for three weeks. But I think that's about it. It was definitely a novelty, and I don't regret trying it. And since my priority is to give you honest reviews to help you out, the sound from the LED shower head was undesirable. If you are after the LED light effect, there is a sound free alternative, but it does require batteries. So that wraps up this video. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I post a new one at least once a week. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.